It's online biz real talk today, and we have an incredible subject for you. And I know this subject hits home with a lot of people because I have been receiving a lot of questions about this lately. A lot of people coming to me and asking, what do I do? What do I say? My, my husband is so skeptical. My sister and brother are so skeptical. My family don't want me to start this online business. Do you have any tips or have you had this experience? Because I don't want to fight with them. I don't want to argue with them. So this is our subject today. <laughs> We're talking about something really good. Um, we have our business partners from South Asia originally. And um, we do these every Wednesday, our South Asian online biz real talk. Um, and we like to do this where because these are some questions that hit home for a lot of people from South Asia. I know a lot of times husbands don't want their wives online. They don't want their wives showing their faces. A lot of old school nationalities do that, to be honest with you. I know my nationality was the same. So, or, you know, they're skeptical. They feel like they don't trust anything. Um, so let's go over that subject today. You know, the subject is, I have a skeptical spouse or family member. Do you have any tips to help with that? when starting this online business. So without further ado, we have our wonderful business partners here and they're gonna introduce themselves and we're gonna go over that subject. I'm gonna talk a little bit over that subject, a little bit about that subject, I should say. And um, we do these online biz real talks to show that we're not going anywhere. We're here to help you every step of the way. We're not robots, we're real people. We're not this person in a foreign country that's ready to rob you <laughs> or claiming they're doing 4X or something, you know, whatever the case may be. We're here, and some of us are from foreign countries, but maybe foreign to you, but not to us. <laughs> but we're here, and we're real, and we're going to help you every step of the way to success, and we have incredible products, an incredible company we're affiliated with, and all we do is just advertise. That's all you're going to be doing, and literally, we send you contracts when you, when you have a sale, and everything is done very securely. You get paychecks in the mail or direct deposits, and we're going to go over that, too, a little bit here today, so... Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies. Thank you for joining. Why don't you introduce yourself for us, um, Angelina, and tell us a little bit about the subject. Have you experienced this before, by the way? Not from my husband. Oh. Believe it or not, he actually supported me till date. But the person who does that is my son. My middle son, no other, and he was 10 years old then. So he's the one who's like, no, mommy, I don't trust in it. And because of him, the other two, too, were like, yeah, this online stuff is not good. But then they kept seeing me and how passionate I was about this. And day and night, I was just wanting to do my stuff. And if they want, they loved me being in the kitchen all day because of the cookies and all those kind of things. So, and now I don't want to be there all day all day and that's helping me also lose weight by the way so it's good for them good for me good for everyone but and and this works good because my mind's here i'm focused but let's let's uh, stick to the topic the topic is about do you feel that people don't believe in what you're doing my children did not then they saw the check that came in they kind of bought in but not fully they still kept watching me and they're like are you getting paid enough is this right small little kids eight and ten year old the 17 the 16 17 year old was fine but the little ones but then i got a buyer and then they started to feel yes this is true and then they also watch the biz not fully it's like they don't sit and watch but they keep passing by and they can see that we are here committed ladies collect from all over the world all right so I'm going to also speak in Hindi and say this, if you don't mind. All right. So, Namaste, Sastrikal, Salaam Alaikum. My name is Angelina and I am from Ontario, Canada. Today, our topic is that if your family doesn't believe in you, that you are doing it or that you want to do it, is it true or not? I will tell you, my children had a problem for me. थोड़ा मुझे मेरे लिए प्रॉब्लम किया था कि मेरे ख्याल से मॉम ये ठीक नहीं है मगर मेरे हस्बैंड हमेशा डटे रहे कि ये ठीक है ये आप करती रहो और अच्छे से करो इनफैक्ट वो तो उन्होंने साढ़े तीन साल साढ़े तीन प्लस साल के बाद मेरे बच्चों को कहा है कि अब जाओ स्कूल आप, आप लोग मम्मी को ये अच्छी तरह से करने दो 
I'm going to say that in English too. My children were home for three and a half years and I love that. And I still love that. But finally, my husband said, you know, let them go in that manner. You can peacefully do this work. So he's supported from day one and he still does that. He really knows that he believes in my business from the beginning. This is one thing good about him. And uh, I'll go back to, to Hindi. So, बच्चों ने नहीं किया था लेकिन फिर वो लोग ने चेक देखा चेक आने लगे तो फिर बायर्स आने लगे तो बिलीव करने लगे उसके अलावा मैं ये मीटिंग्स में यहाँ बैठती हूँ सारी औरतें मर्द जो भी है डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स वो लोग सारे मिलते हैं हम लोग ग्रुप में अलग अलग बिज स्टॉक्स होते हैं तो उसमें वो देखने लगे यहाँ पे यहीं पर घूमते घर में ऑब्वियसली तो उन्होंने देख लिया कि ये ये रियल है अगर ये रियल नहीं होता तो सेवन ईयर्स सात प्लस साल से लोग कैसे इसमें रहते हैं We have people here for seven plus years online doing this business, and these people are not just homemakers, you know, like who probably don't have a career or anything. These people are nurses, firefighters, and more other professional professions that they have. They are proper career-based people who started this, realized that this makes good money, and they have always kept this. And the reason why they don't leave their work, the इसलिए नहीं छोड़ रहे अपना काम क्योंकि वो लोग बहुत कमिटेड है उसके लिए वो उनका सर्विंग है जैसे फायर फाइटर है वो लोग बचा रहे लोगों को दे आर सेविंग पीपल राइट सो दैट्स इन दम दे वॉन्ट टू सेव दे वॉन्ट टू हेल्प एंड दिस इज द रीजन दिस वर्क दिस साइड बिजनेस इज गुड फॉर दैम बिकॉज दैट्स देर नेचर हेल्पिंग समन सेम थिंग गोज विद अ नर्स इफ ही और शी इज अ नर्स ही केयर्स फॉर समन ही उसका दर्द समझते हैं उसका पेन समझ रहे हैं तो वो उसको मदद कर रहे हैं सिमिलरली मैं भी वही कर रही हूँ जो औरतें इंडिपेंडेंट होना चाहती हैं they the the ladies who want to be independent they don't want to be dependent on their husband on his one paycheck and then keep hearing the thing that oh me, my friend's wife she brings in more money and then you feel that inside somewhere you know to aurte jo hoti hai unko bura lagta hai kyunki aajkal ki aurte kaam kar rahi hai these days women are all working i'm sorry i'm mixing both so that you all understand and my my co my my you know partners over here they understand too to आजकल सारे लोग काम कर रहे हैं लेडीज आर ऑल वर्किंग बट आई एम यूर एट होम फॉर द लास्ट सेवेंटीन ईयर्स विच वॉज माई हजबेंड डिसीजन आई वॉन्ट टू गो टू वर्क एज सुन एज माई चाइल्ड वॉज बॉर्न बट ही डेंट वॉन्ट मी टू ही वॉन्ट मी टू टेक केयर ऑफ द बेबी एंड देन द सेकेंड केम एंड द थर्ड केम एंड एंड नाउ सेवेंटीन ईयर्स पास टू वे सो दिस बिजनेस सडनली आ गया हमारे मेरे लिए और मैं ट्रस्ट करने लगी इसमें ये बिजनेस मुझे ऐसा लगा कि गेट रिच सून वाला बिजनेस नहीं दिस इज नॉट दैट काइंड work for it you have to and that was sincere they told me straight up they were not giving me false promises you are going to sleep tonight and when you wake up there will be thousands of dollars in your bank aise sab kuch nahi bola mujhe unhone aap kaam karo acche se you mehnat karo ab jo main kar rahi hu aur acha bhi lag raha hai aise nahi ki main mar mar ke kaam kar rahi hu bahut acha lag raha hai na mujhe headset pehna hai na main desk pe atki hu i'm not stuck here i can just roam around go through my day mera din shuru hota hai apna khana bana rahi hu groceries कर रही हूँ उसमें बीच में आ गई एक छोटा पोस्ट बना दिया पोस्ट कर दिया दैट्स हाउ इट इज इफ पीपल आस्क मी सम क्वेश्चन आर आंसर दैम इफ दे आर इंटरेस्टेड इन द बिजनेस इफ दे वॉन्ट टू सी मोर आर सन दम अ फ्री वर्कशॉप दैट्स हाउ इट इज अगर आप लोगों को इंटरेस्ट है एंड आई कीप इट शॉर्ट नाउ इफ आपको इंटरेस्ट है तो प्लीज मैं प्लीज ये पास नहीं करना आप मेरे वेबसाइट पर जाके जो भी आपको पसंद आता है यहाँ पे एक श्रीलंका लड़की है जो ऑस्ट्रेलिया से है फिर हमारी कोच जो है वो बार्सलोना में है मगर वो एक्चुअली अमेरिकन कैनेडियन है एंड उसके पास जा सकते हो अगर आपको वो पसंद आती है जो भी आपको पसंद आता है जिससे आप आप टाली हो सकते हैं मतलब आप यू यू कैन कैन ऑफ टॉक एंड यू फील कम्फर्टेबल विद उनको अप्रोच करें उनसे आप बात करें और बाय दबे हमारी कम्यूनिटी होती है हम लोग सब एक मेक को हेल्प करते हैं तो अगर वो बिजी है तो कोई और भी हेल्प कर लेगा इट्स दैट वे बट मोस्टली हमारे वीडियोस जो है ऑटोमेटेड होते हैं जो आप ऑटोमेटिक खुद ही खुद ही सीख सकते हो और राइट सो दैट्स इट देन फॉर नाउ एंड इफ शी कॉज मी अगेन टू टॉक देन आई टॉक टू गाइस और राइट थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच या डेफिनेटली यू आर वेलकम एंड आई आई यूज्ड टू फील द सेम वे एंजेलिना आई यूज्ड टू फील लाइक uh because when okay let me let me go back up a little bit when i literally had my two bigger kids mikey and meadow i had a brick and mortar business in toronto ontario so i was super busy and i didn't have time to cook for them and i didn't have time to be there with them 
and I would take them out, you know, once in a while to fun places, you know, and spend money, right? And fancy takeout or, or dinners, but I didn't have a lot of time on my hands. I had nannies. And um, I decided, because in my childhood or in my little teen years with my mom and dad, I went to British Columbia, BC, Canada, you know, the western part of Canada. And I loved it. I fell in love with it in this beautiful town called Kamloops. So I decided, you know, my mom passed away. My dad's sick. There's so much going on. There's, I was really busy, 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 busy with the, the brick and mortar business. And I got anxiety, you know, stress. So I went to BC with my two big kids, Mikey and Meadow. And I started my business there on a smaller scale. I changed some things because I turned Christian and it failed. It failed. And I wanted the more peaceful, calmer life. And, you know, and I started, I got into the routine, like I spent all my savings. Um, my business failed. And I just was like, just like what you were doing, just take care of the kids. Um, I literally had twins and Violet and uh, then just all the time, just nourishing them, cooking, doing, it was all about them. And it was too much. It wasn't, it's, you got to let your kids breathe a little. You got to let them play. You got to let them get hurt. You got to let them, you know, go and do their own thing. And it's just not, you got, you can't be so controlling or you can't be so just infatuated with the kids' health and, and oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do, I, I was just like, I guess because my mother and father passed away from cancer. I was just turned into a complete health freak. So long story short, I understand where you're coming from, where you just lose yourself. You lose yourself in your kids. You lose yourself in your husband. You lose yourself in your whole housework and you feel like you're not doing anything. And I could tell that's the way you were just feeling by the 17 years, like you said, that passed. And I thought the same thing. I thought in my, in my life that I could not ever pick up another career. I couldn't go towards what I truly desired until my kids were all grown and in school or whatever the case may be. And I was offered jobs in Kamloops. I was offered very good jobs in Kamloops, but I decided not to take them because I knew what is going to happen again. I'm going to pay for childcare. I'm not going to be my kids. I'm going to do the same thing. And then long and behold, this business fell in my lap and it changed my life. You're right, Angelina. I didn't get rich overnight. I worked on it, but it sure got me wealthy and paid off my debt a lot quicker than any offline business or any other online business. And you got this girl, you're doing absolutely incredible. And I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Yes, you are our inspiration, honestly speaking. You are, and not just the 5,000 or so distributors that you may have made in your lifetime, but I feel all around the world, people who have not even connected with you, who have just watched you feel that inspiration. I feel that way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. And thank you for your, your testimony and everything. And, you know, and you know, even though this isn't only women in this business, I always feel like that. I want to empower women because I come from a very old school, Romani background, very old school. And, um, you know, the, the way we're brought up is like the woman cooks and cleans, does all the housework. And she actually makes money <laughs> financially. She usually has you know brings in money too but there's so much on our shoulders right and we have to do everything and then um it's very like closed off like we're very closed off to the world and um and a lot of times you know it's it's taboo to do anything online or they're afraid or they don't think they can do it you know they think they all they, they they're just a housewife you know that's it and that's not true. That's not true. Like you, you can be a very intelligent housewife. Like there's this one business partner uh, that is, I, I know she's probably watching Shaveen. And, and I was like, this woman is super, super intelligent. She talks a hundred miles an hour like me. And um, you could tell the way a person talks, you know, if they talk quick, their mind is working quick. And I just see the way she's talking and, and the way she, you know, even though she's a, she's a stay at home mom, doesn't mean that you can't ever do something at home and boom to the top. Because look at me, I started this business and look, I'm here in Barcelona in this incredible, beautiful home, this incredible, beautiful side of the world. Just got a new vehicle for the children. And my son is in his, finally, he's <laughs> in his soccer and, you know, being trained and 
oh, there's so many amazing things happening and I'm gonna work on each kid. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna work on this kid now. I gotta work. And it's like, they're following their dreams and that's my dream. My dream is to see them, you know, boom to the top and to help others as I continue to help them in the online world. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Angelina. Uh, we have some um, comments here. Let me just pull up these comments. Uh, Nastio, Nastixo <laughs> saying hello, hello, God bless. Merle saying hi, Sis Georgia, hi, Merle, how are you? One of our business partners. Hi, Angelina and Bashara. Nice to be here listening to you. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so Thashara, I'm curious to hear your experience, okay? Because, guys, we don't rehearse any of this. We just go live. <laughs> and, you know, we just, we understand the subject. So tell us, uh, introduce yourself, obviously. Tell us where you're from originally, where you are now. And tell us, you know, have you had experience like this? And maybe you can give us some tips to, um, you know, to help with a skeptical spouse or family member if somebody wants to start with this business. Uh, hi, Georgia and Angelina. Thank you for having me here. My name is Tushara. Originally, I'm from Sri Lanka, but I'm living here in Australia with my husband. And... Um, Go back to the subject that um, your husband or spouse or whichever is skeptical about doing this business. In the case of mine, in the beginning, I am the one, one of, um, you know, in the beginning when you see the advertisement, I was a skeptical person. So then you cannot be stay like because it's you skeptical not to do your due diligence, right? So I did that part, then I know this is, is a legend and real. So it got me into it. So then the next part, I need to let my husband know that. So I let him know and he don't, don't believe it either. So it took some time for me to explain to him because I seen, I was in the community. So I seen all the beauty happening people pay off their mortgage and buying new cars, travel the world, and so much in that when you be in the member and go to the community. So whole new world out there for me. So I was the inspired and I'm happy and I know I wanted to do this. That's the only thing it keep me um, in the community. So then like, I just wanted to explain everything bit by bit, other people's stories and all sort of things. He never, he, he, he listened to everything. You know, some husbands are take all the notes in their mind and then they keep quiet. That means, you know, you're going to get this. So it didn't take that long for me. So then like he knows that I'm so, you know, driven to this and this the opportunity for me because I know I want to learn as well. So I'm always willing to learn present since the, you know, my life is go ups and down. So I'm the one who taking action, doing it. Then I know it will change me in many different ways. So then I explained to him, he believing in that, that purpose, he say, okay, go for it. So I'm here now and he now support me. He's seen that I'm growing and he sees difference in me. And because this is not just like earning money on it, this is like a whole everything for you. Personal growth, even though like, you know, you can be help somebody else issues as well. That's how we learn because this is not just like uh, um, earn money on it. You'll be able to guide someone else well because um, someone else struggle and you'll be able to because You've been with here with the old people, positive people and minded people and how they navigate yes. their life and issues and problems. So that purpose, it's helped me in many different ways to guide some other people as well. Once I join in the business and sign up everything and all the um, email, um, what do you call the camp, the leads coming, then people are engaged with me, want to do the business. And they ask those questions more than they want to be in the business. They talk about 
their personal life as well. So when they have the struggle, when I give them tips, they happy with that more than that. Then they being like a more positive about people, what who we are, and what kind of community I involved with, all those things. Because other people, say, I don't think that scammers get, go friendly and suppose uh, trying to help you out of your business, right? So before you joining into business, when you give them that kind of uh, outside of, oh, oh, that's so helpful. You make me feel so better. And I never even thought of that. This is out of business. So they also become so happy and they say, wow, that's so powerful because you come to me as a stranger and this is not related to business. I say, yeah, we are all human beings. That's what we all do. You know, we're not just like in that part in sense. So they are interested. So then they wanted to jump in and that's how these things are here. So it's, um, this is real because every day people are coming on live and we're talking. So that's the one tip that you can uh, let that skeptical husband or your wife to let them know that this is real, real people. And not only that, as Angelina said, that we got doctors, we go nurses, we go firefighters, we, school, we go school teachers. Some of them I know, they are business background people as well. They're doing this business, business of our over 30 years and they are in the community. So it's so many, is um, not that just like, a, like me, is I don't have any education experience. Like my coach, Georgia, she's only seventh grade. That I'm only ninth grade and I did not have English experience either. And mind you, my husband even find it that my English getting better too. And in many, many opportunities here, not just like, I don't know, I can talk and talk the benefit out of here, but this enough. And I, I'm going to pass to Coach Georgia now. Thank you for opportunity. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. You know, there's, there's so many people that are watching us right now. I know that. And I see on a daily basis, how many views this online biz real talk is getting. Um, and because of us being here, you know, present and, and showing that we're real, and, you know, being there for one another, it's, it's hitting people differently. They're realizing, wow, okay, this, this business is real. This is what I've been looking for, the support. Also the automated systems, something where I can be home with my kids and still earn, where I can be at the beach, at the park, wherever, even at the supermarket. Um, and also it, why we mainly do this is because we are coaches and mentors and we can help you get started. So these ladies are mentors, I'm a coach. I train them to help people get started in the online world. So there's a part to this business that is automated and then the products and the posting and all of that part. You know, you have to see the whole business plan. And that's why we have our workshop. Our workshop explains everything in detail. That's what you want to watch. Okay, we offer a free workshop with all the details in there. Um, but I'm gonna go over a little bit of this subject. <laughs> maybe without you know saying too much because i haven't had an experience um what is skeptical steps so i'll introduce myself i'm georgia and i'm the president and ceo and coach um i help people worldwide to earn an incredible income online and i have my business running in the background um when i started this business four and a half years ago uh, I was with a person that was super, super, super skeptical of this business. And the funny thing is, is the person who I, I learned this business from and I found out, you know, about this opportunity, this person used to work with my ex-husband. They, they used to work together. So it shocked me that he was so skeptical and he knew this person and he knew that this was a real person. And he knew that this person had a very good job and, you know, he was well known. So why would you not trust that, you know, this is not a, a 
a real opportunity. So there you go. <laughs> it's like the proof is in the pudding. Why would you trust this? But as much as I try to explain to them, like I'm starting this business, I'm super excited. Oh my goodness. Like they came home and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm starting this business. You don't understand. Like look how much money there is in this business. Like the products are incredible. Like let, let me show you the workshop. He wasn't even interested in anything. Wasn't interested in anything. Didn't want to look into the workshop. Didn't want to look into anything. So whatever, I still started. I still signed up. And I didn't tell him, you know, anything, pretty much what I was doing or anything at that point because he wasn't interested. And then when I did get started, he would get mad at me if I put time into the business. Just like what, what's going on with your kids, Angelina. <laughs> You get all of a sudden there's not a three course meal every day, you know. All of a sudden the house is not as organized, and um, I'm getting more confident, and I I'm like not being the, you know, the person I was. I was sad. I, I was going through a lot, and I think I was I I was me, right? Because of what I what I've been through, just in life in general, I lost myself. And all of a sudden, I found myself in this business. The training had incredible self-help books, things that's going to help you with your mind. You're more focused. You're more energetic. I start to work out. We have a personal trainer in our community. The products are incredible. The products I, I feel helped me <laughs> in a crazy way. I became more healthier. I looked healthier. Even my sister's like, oh, my goodness. Like, did you do something to your face? Like, you, you look way, way different. I'm like, no. <laughs> And I've just been, you know, wealthier and happier. And these products are amazing. <laughs> so I gained back so much. And um, unfortunately, even though I proved my skeptical spouse wrong, we're not together anymore. And I wouldn't say that's unfortunate because God works in mysterious ways. And I know it's for the best. But unfortunately, there was no way I could turn this person into believing in my business. Even though I was getting so much checks, even though I was getting like literally like four four K in just one one envelope. Like I remember I, I got like four point four K in one envelope and shown them. They still looked at this like it's a scam or something. They had no what? interest. Yeah. They had what? no interest what? in why? Because here's the thing, Angelina. Nobody believes that you can make that much money on a product of being sold. And and he, this person was only making like, you know, maybe a couple hundred dollars on a sale for his, for them selling vehicles in a car uh, in a car um, dealership. So for me making that much in one sale, I think he was jealous. And, and yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. The way the way I seen it was because at the time you're in in the heat of a moment you're not really you're just feeling like this person is just doesn't want me doesn't want to go along with anything I do right because you're, you're you're thinking that way but now taking a step back and looking at it I see that there is a unconscious you know, um, wanting to do these things for a person. This person wants to do this. This person wants to be like that. This person wants to be courageous. This person wants to do what I'm doing, but they can't do it. And I see this in a lot of people. Like, the, in other words, their their fear is reflecting on you. Their uncertainty about themselves is reflecting on you. And I've seen that. And I know that a lot of people, family, friends, spouses, are very afraid to jump out of their comfort zone. They're afraid to start something new. They're afraid they're going to get scammed. They're, but there is a lot of scams, so be careful out there. Do your diligence. And then they start to bash you and say, you know, you're stupid, or this isn't right, or this isn't good, or you don't know what you're doing. Let's get, this is online biz real talk. We're not sugarcoating anything. Behind doors, there's a lot that goes on in families' lives. And it's sugarcoated and everybody's like, everything's all perfect and glory and we're all mine. No, it's real life. Everything's not perfect. You know, people have big arguments over things like this. And this is why we decided to do this, um, this online biz talk, because there's a way to go about it, I feel. And, and the way to do it is not to argue. 
My advice is not to argue, but let your actions speak louder than your words. And in a way, I had to prove totally, not only to myself, but to them, that this is, is absolutely incredible. And I didn't care no more what anybody said. I didn't even care. I'm like, I'm just doing it. I'm do going full force. I don't care. I'm advertising. I'm even putting myself out there. I don't care. And I bloomed so much to the top. I let it, the skeptical, the talk, the naysayers, because it, was, it wasn't just my ex. It was just many of my family members, my church family. Everybody was making fun of me. And, oh, you're MLM. Sure, sure, sure. Your MLM bought you that new car and this and that. And I'm like, mm. but I do have the new car sitting in my driveway. So, but I did pay off my debt. You know, so I just learned to just cut everybody out. I didn't, I did not. Yeah, go on. They feel you're in a dream and it's going to collapse, like you're going to wake up from it because it's not going to happen every day or every now and then. They don't believe it because when you hear this, it's true. 4K, 6K, what are you talking about? 30K people are making in a month, 50K. How? They don't believe that. True. That I can understand. I can understand. Yeah, and I also understand because there's a lot of MLMs out there and a lot of places... Well, a lot of online opportunities, they claim that you can, you know, make so much money and you don't. And also they, they make you network and they make you reach out to people and you got to buy the products and then you got to keep buying products and you have to resell the products or you have to, you know, say that the products are so good. We don't have to do that. We don't have to stock the products. We don't have to keep buying the products and the products are incredible. Like I, this one person was telling me, oh, well, I was in this company and, you know, I had to buy all the products and they were great. And they told me to come to me. I'm like, those products are not good. <laughs> Believe me, I know those products are terrible. Those products are full of sugar. Those products are not, there's no money in those products. Anybody, okay. I'm not going to down any of these companies and I'm not going to even mention the companies. But any company that sells a, a protein bar or a energy drink or some gummies or a weight loss, where is the money in that? These products are like $10, $5. You gotta sell a whole big stock of these products to people in order to make any money. What if we showed you how to make a couple of thousand on, on one product? Just one product. That's a whole lot less legwork and you get wealthier quicker. That's why we make so much money in this business because the products are high end that convert to high revenue. Crazy bonuses. Okay. Um, I have. Um, what is this? The last way of skeptics. Oh, okay. Someone's saying something really cool. And this, I, I wonder who's saying this because we can't see who they are. Okay. So they're saying the last way for skeptics to get the attention of bright, curious, intelligent people is to belittle or con condescend or to show arrogance towards their beliefs. Oh, wow. I love that. Carl Sagan. That is amazing. I really, really like that quote. Wow, it's true. It is 100% true because that's what's happened, what happened to me. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like there was blood, tears, sweat, everything. Just, you know, it, this business isn't hard, but it was hard to overcome the naysayers. It's hard to overcome the, um, the negative, you know, um, bashing from so many people. It was hard to overcome that, believe me, from family, from friends, church, people, everything, everybody. And um, I lost a lot of friends and I, 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 I literally pulled away from a lot of family and it, it was just, I, I, I'm on a different, I'm on a different path than them. And my path is success and my, bringing my kids to success and, and fame and fortune and growth and my, George Williams Foundation and helping my business partners and nobody else wanted that for me. It's just truth. They don't want they don't want me to go that. They feel that this is a scary journey I'm going towards and they just want me to sit down and relax. And they want me to stay quiet. And I don't want to because <laughs> that's not who I am. And I, my dreams are too big for any fear to come in my way. And you should too. Don't ever let your fears or people stop from your dreams. Again, don't argue my advice with your family, your spouses, but show them, show them in your actions, 
how great this business is. It will help you. Um, okay, we have Irene. Hi, Irene, another business partner. We have someone watching from, oh, she's from New York City. Woo! I was born in New Jersey. We have uh, Des watching from UK. Hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's from she's from um, UK also. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. God bless you. So we're going to end it here. Um, and I want to thank everybody for watching. And I want to really, um, you know, get you guys to watch our free workshop if you want more information. That's the first step. Watch the free workshop. Click on the link above or below. Go to our websites, the www. Hit that link, add your name and your email, and you'll be taken right away to the workshop replay that I hosted a few days ago. You're going to see how amazing it is. You're going to see the presentation. You're going to see everything. We're going to set you up. You're going to hear from some of our huge leaders in our community <laughs> and how much money they made. Um, and I know Angelina wants to say something real quick. Sorry. Go on, Angelina. Yes. I, I want to, I want to tell that I did not tell anybody when I was joining this. I did not tell my friends, my relatives, because I knew they'd bring me down. And I didn't know this, that they would, but just generally, that's how we are. We, if, if I'd gone for an advice, hey, what do you think? They'll say, oh, please don't trust these people. Not just y'all in particular. Nobody knows who we really are because we are all independent, right? We do not reveal our high-end products right away. We get the person to know us first, understand, because we are a private group. We are all independent, but we are all privately together. So, but if I, if you just generally tell them I want to do this online, do not trust anybody, do not. That's what's going to happen. So I never told anyone. I'm in Hindi, I will say, I have never told anyone. Because they are just the leader, they are just down to down. No, 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 you know, pahar, jase, building banane, ab jar, usse pehle gir it's like, I, I don't know what they say in English, but before you build something, you start things. So I did not tell anyone. I knew this will happen. I did not want anybody to bring me down. I wanted to prove it by doing it. And I, I, I wasn't conscious at all. In the beginning, I was. But then I started to see Georgia and I saw all the other people, how boldly they come in and what are they doing? They're trying to make an earning for themselves, for their children, for their family. So you have to forget all this. Am I looking good? Am I am I making mistakes? Am I not looking 10 out of 10 or my brains are not on a, the most high IQ? Doesn't matter. We're all regular people. We are pushing ourselves to make money and we are going to be winners. And not only that, we are going to make other people also come up. We're going to help those people who also have issues, who feel that they want to help their families also be independent and not dependent on their husbands. I want to help them too. All right, so I won't take more time now. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you, beautiful. Sorry, my mic wasn't working for that minute there. But thank you for helping me co-host this. And thank you, Tashara, for coming on. One of our business partners is watching, Hasmin Rodriguez. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, girl. Say so, hello, beautiful ladies. Hopefully next time I will join you in the biz town. Oh, yes. And I know that, um, you know, I, I, I remember um, Hasmin telling me, you know, she was having a little bit of, you know, same thing, skepticism in her family. But She's going and she's non stopping and she continues to get leads and buyers and successes every single day. So you go, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for joining. Don't forget that, that link, add your name in your email, watch our free workshop. You got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Watch till the end of that workshop. Don't watch a little bit and then, oh, yeah, I'll watch the next one next week. You only need to watch one. Finish that one workshop. Once you're done, you decide from there. Do I want to sign up? Do I want to get started in this business? And if you do, reach out to us. We'll help you every step of the way to success. So. Bye. See you on the other side. Thank you, ladies. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching.